We're in for an astronomical treat. Let your eyes feast on the first images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. These paramount shots are the first of the deepest view ever obtained in the universe, and they reveal spectacular galaxies. Yes, far, far away. Although the first image is filled with galaxies, the several spiked objects are local stars in our own Milky Way. But the real revelation is seeing the image that is filled with galaxies. When you look very carefully at the image, you'll notice that many of those galaxies distort into arcs. According to Neil deGrasse Tyson, these objects in the center of the image are distant galaxies that reveal the curvature of space-time caused by the gravity of a cluster of galaxies. The pictures show elements of the universe as they were 13 billion years ago. These new images reshape our understanding of the cosmos, and in this video, you're about to learn all about it. Welcome back to Space Infinity. On Monday, July 11th, in a preview event at the White House in Washington, D.C., President Joe Biden released one of the James Webb Space Telescope's first images. Then the following day, July 12th, NASA, in partnership with ESA, or European Space Agency, and the CSA, Canadian Space Agency, released the full set of the JWST's first full-color images, with spectroscopic data. The event was a televised broadcast from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Joe Biden, who unveiled the image at a White House event, called the moment historic and said it provided a new window into the history of our universe. Although he often seems like he doesn't know what he's talking about these days, a broken clock is accurate twice a day. This event surely is one for the history books. Kamala Harris, U.S. Vice President, commented that the telescope should be considered one of humanity's great engineering achievements. The first image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. It's been dubbed Webb's First Deep Field, and it's a captivating image of a galaxy cluster, SMACS 0723. Shockingly, what we are seeing today actually transpired 4.6 billion years ago. The image is overflowing with detail of thousands of ancient galaxies. For the first time, the faintest objects ever observed in the infrared have been revealed. And imagine, Webb's first deep field only covers a sliver of the potentially immeasurable universe. But that might be an overstatement, because we all know there are more galaxies in the cosmos than grains of sand at your nearest beach. Yes, it's hard to grasp, and that's what the U.S. President went on to say. It's hard to even fathom. It's astounding. It's an historic moment for science and technology, for America, and all of humanity. President Biden then continued, these images are going to remind the world that America can do big things and remind the American people, especially our children, that there's nothing beyond our capacity. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, capabilities. According to NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, Webb's first deep field showed the light of galaxies bending around other galaxies, traveling for billions of years before reaching the telescope. He was quoted saying, we are looking back more than 13 billion years. He went on to explain that the other images would reach back further to about 13.5 billion years ago. This means that we'll be observing some of the first ever spawned in the universe. We are going back almost to the beginning, Nelson remarked. Experts note that the telescope, which was three decades in the making, could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos by providing detailed infrared images of the universe. Keep in mind, the $10 billion telescope is not only able to observe some of the oldest galaxies in the universe with its state-of-the-art system of lenses, filters, and prisms to detect signals in the infrared spectrum. The James Webb Space Observatory is also able to peek inside the atmospheres of exoplanets. And so far, the JWST has performed flawlessly, according to Marsha Riki, professor of astronomy at University of Arizona. At a recent news conference, NASA's deputy senior project scientist Jonathan Gardner told the press, Webb can see backwards in time just after the Big Bang by looking for galaxies that are so far away. The light has taken many billions of years to get from those galaxies to ourselves. Webb is bigger than Hubble so that it can see fainter galaxies that are further away. The JWST main objectives. Since the mid-1990s, the telescope had been in development until it was finally rocketed off into space in December of 2021. Now, it is Earth's most powerful space telescope ever launched. And after a six-month journey of firing its thrusters, it has finally reached its permanent cosmic address. With its final course adjustment complete, 
The James Webb Space Telescope is now orbiting around the Sun at a distance of nearly 1 million miles, or 1.5 million kilometers, from Earth. Now it's high time for the JWST to perform its initial tasks of scanning ancient galaxies. The primary goal of the project is to see the first stars and galaxies formed following the Big Bang. The idea is to observe when the universe turned on the lights for the first time, according to Eric Smith, JWST program scientist. And apparently everything is going according to plan to complete that mission. His foreign colleague, Gillian Wright, director of the UK Astronomy Technology Centre in Edinburgh, informed that the whole observatory is performing stunningly well. Gillian Wright is also the principal investigator for the Mid-Infrared MIRI, instrument on JWST. MIRI is a versatile mid-infrared instrument with wide-ranging capabilities. MIRI virtually has all the capabilities needed for the whole range of JWST science. That covers every phase of cosmic history, from the high redshift, which is used to measure distances in the universe, to studying the formation of planetary systems alien as well as our own solar system. MIRI provides imaging, coronography, and integral field spectroscopy over the 5 to 28 micron wavelength range. It was developed as a partnership between Europe and the USA. The main partners are ESA, a consortium of nationally funded European institutes, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, and NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, GSFC. Other extraordinary tools for capturing the cosmos consists of near-infrared camera simply named NIRCAM, the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIRSPEC, and the Near-Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, Fine Guidance Sensor, or the NIRIS, FGS. When discussing the amazing functionality and capabilities of the JWST instruments, Gillian summed up his comments by adding, It's hard to take in how fantastic it has turned out to be. It is utterly amazing. First, space adversity for JWST. Even though procedures are going swell, the JWST has already experienced some adversity. A tiny rock fragment hit the new James Webb Space Telescope's main mirror. The damage inflicted by the dust-sized micrometeoroid is producing a noticeable effect in the observatory's data, but is not expected to limit the mission's overall performance. NASA reported that regardless of the mirror inconvenience, the images won't be any less stunning because of the micrometeoroid. Technical Deputy Project Manager at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Paul Geithner, explained, we always knew that Webb would have to weather the space environment, which includes harsh ultraviolet light and charged particles from the sun, cosmic rays from exotic sources in the galaxy, and occasional strikes by micrometeoroids within our solar system. Geithner continued, We designed and built Webb with performance margin, optical, thermal, electrical, mechanical, to ensure it can perform its ambitious science mission even after many years in space. As procedure dictates, Engineers adjusted the positioning of the affected mirror segment to cancel out a portion of the introduced distortion. Unfortunately, they can't remove it all. JWST main targets Carina Nebula NASA reported that JWST has five initial cosmic targets for observation, including the Carina Nebula, a sort of celestial nursery where stars form. The nebula is about 7,600 light-years away and is home to many enormous stars several times larger than our Sun, Sol. WASP-96b Also at the top of the list for immediate observation, we have WASP-96b. Discovered in 2014, WASP-96b is a massive planet located nearly 1,150 light-years away from Earth. It orbits its dying star every 3.4 days and has half the mass of Jupiter. The exoplanet is almost entirely cloud-free and has an abundance of sodium while being mostly made up of gas. Southern Ring Nebula The next target is the Southern Ring Nebula. This nebula is a planetary nebula, which means that it is a cloud of gas surrounding a dying star. It is also called the Eight Burst Nebula because it looks like a figure eight when seen through telescopes. It is 2,000 light years away from Earth and has a diameter of nearly half a light year. The gases are moving away from the dying star at the center of the nebula at a speed of nine miles per second. Stefan's Quintet and the last target for the JWST is Stefan's Quintet. Stefan's Quintet is a group of five galaxies where four of them are locked in a cosmic dance of repeated close encounters. It is famous for being one of the first compact galaxy groups ever discovered. It is about 290 million light-years away in the direction of the Pegasus constellation. Richard Ellis, 
professor of astrophysics at University College London, who was part of the committee that first conceived the telescope, said, It's exhilarating to see the fantastic James Webb Space Telescope image released today. He went on to joyfully comment, As we are, ourselves, made of the material synthesized in stars over the past 13 billion years, JWST has the unique ability to trace back to our own origins in this remarkable universe. Everyone can take part in this amazing adventure. And he's absolutely correct. Everyone should take part in these amazing historical events. And you can do that with Space Infinity. Be sure to smack that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and tap the notification bell.